you coming or not? It's March 8th. Hey everybody, it's Tim and Nancy of the Hair Curler Chronicles, and today is Monday, March the 8th. Getting ready for work, back at it, and after a terrific session last night on High Rise live stream, man, was it ever... Wow. High energy. High, high energy, high energy. In today's video, we're going to continue a little bit more about altcoins. So in order to never miss anything, you need to subscribe to our channel, Tim and Nancy Danter. You need to hit the like button so the YT algorithms pick us up and we spread the word. And you need to hit that little bell so you know when Tim's term of the day is coming out next. Stay tuned and we'll come back at the end to do a quick recap. Enjoy. It was a really, really exciting night last night with uh, on the High Rye live, live channel and, and whatnot. And, and I think the conversation is starting to change and, and, and we're really getting people that are interested in learning more. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are the baseline to get in. And it's funny because in the world of cryptocurrency, they're the thing that is um, the hedge, the inflation hedge. And they're the, they're the thing that nobody is scared of. Um, getting into the world of altcoins, now that is a bit more of a, a deeper dive or a deeper, uh, not a deeper dive, but that's getting more into the It's a different nitty, approach. It's, it's a more into the nitty gritty. Yeah. And it's funny because there's a whole group of people that would find Bitcoin and Ethereum risky. But meanwhile, in the world of the crypto people, Bitcoin and Ethereum are just the baseline to get in. And the reason that they're the baseline to get in is because you typically need to have either Bitcoin or Ethereum to, in order to be able to purchase um, the more, altcoins. It's more Ethereum. It's more, more Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah. It's more Ethereum. For, for any altcoin that, and you need to tune into our channel for this, but any altcoin that you purchase on Uniswap is running off through, through the purchase of Ethereum. Yes, yeah, so you get that question all the time. Where mm -hmm. are we buying the altcoins? And in our description below, you will see links for uh, BitBuy. You will see links for uh, ShapePay. Um, and that's where you can go and purchase the Ethereum. It's really involved, folks, because once you purchase the Ethereum, you then have to put it into a wallet called MetaMask. And then you have to uh, open up Uniswap, connect Uniswap to MetaMask, and then that's how the process starts of using your Ethereum to purchase said altcoin. But okay, so can <laughs> can they buy the Ethereum on Uniswap? I uh, know. No, no. It's, it's a trading platform. You've got to go. It's like uh, you've got to go with your Ethereum already in your wallet. Okay. In the MetaMask. Okay, so this is why that's not the purpose of this. This is why there's so many um, it's a trading platform. Okay, so maybe what we need to do in future videos is do a, a like almost like an infographic, so you can go. Okay, step one, you have to do this. Step two, you have to do this. Yeah. Maybe we need to create a, a pie chart or an infographic. So oh, people I love know. pie. I know you do. <laughs> Anyways, so what I wanted to, t to talk about just for a few minutes today is about doing your research. I know we keep saying this. I know we keep saying it over and over and over again, but there's some tricks with doing your research with altcoins. So one of the things that um, uh, we learned today from Lark Davis off of his channel, and we'll, I'll put a link to um, the video that I watched about this so that Lark can explain it in more detail, but... Um, it market cap matters. So when you're looking at um, these opportunities, you want to understand what the potential is. And he said, if you're looking for a hundred X opportunity, so something that's really going to have massive explosive growth for you to get involved with, um, you want to look for smaller market caps. So anything that's under ten million dollars. So that's that's step one. Um, then you want to make sure that the fundamentals of the coin are there. So what does that mean? Fundamentals of the coin. What does that even mean? So you have to really put in the work and he's recommending CoinGecko. I recommend CoinGecko. Folks, CoinGecko, you can't beat it. It's free. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. Oh, you don't see what I'm saying? I, no. Um, Okay, so so what so get your coin gecko. That's that's what you gotta do to start with. 
And then there's other ways you can dive deeper into these projects. So um, he says that um, what, when you're looking at coins, don't just go, oh, there's a penny coin. That If you wouldn't invest in it as a... As a it reminds me, folks, it reminds me, stay on track there, hold it, put it on pause, put a pin in it. It reminds me of how she, when we would go and have a bet on the horses or go to the roar, oh, that name sounds just wonderful. I'm going to bet on that. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? Continue. And sometimes that worked. Right. But that's just a horse with a $5 bet. And it was, this is not it, what we're talking about, And folks. it was super random. And be careful you don't fall into the trap of all the hype on the social networks about a particular altcoin. Beware, do your own due diligence, go. So, so what you wanna look for is just the same way you would look if you were buying a stock, right? So you, you wanna make sure, is there a use case for this token? So basically you're looking at what they're trying to do. Is it, does this idea have, um, make any sense to you, what they're doing? Like we'll go back to that, um, to the Raven coin that we were talking about last night. There's a use case for that. That mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I can see how bits and pieces of it from what we're already doing currently out in the world make a lot of sense. So for me, that project makes sense. Um, is there a revenue model for this? Is there a way that this, once this token becomes, once this project comes up and running, how are they monetizing it? And you know, and sometimes that's not they're, the they're, only thing that you should be looking at because look problems. at look at Twitter. Twitter for the longest time was a great platform, but they had there was no revenue stream for it for the longest time. And so that doesn't mean that it's the only thing because look at Twitter has taken off, right? But so it made <clears> sense, <throat> but there wasn't a revenue stream. But it still should be part of your consideration before buying the coin. The other thing is can the team who's building that utility, can they deliver on what they say they're gonna deliver? And Tim's right, are there venture capitalists involved? Are they, are, is this project back. gonna just- Is it back? Is it back? Is it, is back? it gonna fall apart? Yeah. So you would do the same kind of thought <clears throat> process on when you're picking a stock as you would be if you're gonna invest and, in this. And that's that's important, the venture capital's part of it, folks. And this is homework you gotta do. Don't, I mean, you're free, you're gonna send us comments about, what do you think about this? I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know, that's my answer. But are the venture capitalists also involved in other coins? And the other thing that Lark said was, you know, have you heard about this particular altcoin in the background? Have you heard murmur, murmurs of it and it hasn't quite come up? into the trends yet. Right. Right? right. Yeah. Right. So so I would say, he, the other thing I thought he said that was interesting this morning was <clears throat> um, DeFi and NFTs, so non-fungible tokens and decentralized finance are the hot terms right now. So any coins or tokens that are focusing in on that are hot right now. But I thought that it was really super interesting when he was talking about, um, look at, some of the other tokens that are going to be doing other things other than decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. He said, um, like, there is there enterprise cases, tokens that have enterprise cases to it, such as Unibright. He also said there's also decentralized cloud computing. These are going to be these are going to be things in the future that we're all going to do. We're gonna we're gonna need enterprise coins. We're gonna need decentralized cloud computing. And I thought that this was another really interesting one, um, and it was content delivery networks. So YouTube is a content delivery network, right. and and we're using that right now on the internet. But there are there are companies that are building the new. And you know what? You know what? I have to go and buy Theta, T H E T A. That's your homework, folks. It actually has somehow made an agreement with Netflix token hmm. mm -hmm. well we'll we'll get more details on that one but anyways so we'll lot we'll link the full Lark Davis video today on it because again it, once you start diving into this world and you start to really figure out what's happening here then, then it, it's like your eyes get open to a whole new world, but you have to, you have to stick with it. It's hard 
and here's the thing, everything is hard before it's easy. Right? right. Anyways, right. have a great day. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope you got some uh, useful information about altcoins. It is serious. Don't get FOMO. You're going to get some FUD and don't race into it. As I explained on the live stream last night, there is a process in order to buy these altcoins. Number one, above anything else, is educate yourself and research it yourself. Know what it's all about, which we talked about in the video. Number two, only spend what you are prepared to lose because in the world of altcoins, it's not as much as a asset, if you will, as investing in ETH or BTC. So remember, Nance and I are not professionals. We're not licensed. We're just going down this journey and we want to thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Tell friends. Hit the like button so it goes across the UT algorithms and hit the little bell so you never miss our pretty little faces. One made, one not made. You're so funny. I know. See you later, guys.